How you doing? This is DeBerry here. Today we're going to talk about the Neutronics Ultimate ID 1234YF Refrigerant Identifier. Uh, this is uh, new to us in the shop and uh, we use this on vehicles anytime we hook up a manifold gauge set or an AC machine to a refrigerant system. Uh, this refrigerant identifier is used to identify our 134A systems and then the newer 1234YF uh, Freon systems. Uh, that you'll find in hybrid vehicles. So today I'm going to show you how to go through, turn it on, adapt it to the vehicle, and then identify the types of refrigerant that are inside of the AC system. This is a critical step to uh, perform nowadays because we don't want to run any contaminants into our um, recycling machine, our AC recycling machine, and we don't want to have any contaminants inside of our manifold gauge set because if that happens, those contaminants will then be transferred from vehicle to vehicle because we'd be using and recycling the same Freon that comes out of the vehicle. So we need to know if the Freon inside of the vehicle is pure and that way we can go ahead with recovering it and then servicing the AC system if necessary. Okay, so let's take a look. First step to our ultimate identifier is to turn on our power buttons over here on the left. So we're just going to go ahead and click it. All right, so up here on the screen, I'm going to zoom in here a little bit. You can take a look. Next, we're going to hit the OK button, which is over here on the far right. And we're going to give the machine a chance to warm up. OK, now that the system is uh, warmed up, we're going to select the type of uh, AC system that we have. So I'm going to scroll down here a little bit so you can take a look. So we have a 134 system, so we're going to go ahead and hit this button. And uh, note to self, hit this button pretty quick. So just tap it and then let it go. If you hold down on the button, it'll actually turn the whole machine off. All right, so right now it says, ready connect hose to the device. So the hose that they're talking about, zoom out here, and I'll show you. This is the hose assembly that they're talking about. And this is the end, the small end that they want you to connect to the back of the device. So we'll go ahead and do that right now. So right here is where the fitting goes, and then there's a USB port for updates on the system, and then a power port for charging it up. Okay, so you just push it on, twist it just a little bit, and you're good and connected. All right, so I'll zoom back in. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go over here to the calibrate. All right, now what it's talking about right there is if I zoom back out again, we take a look over here to the right. So this is our filter. If you see any red spots inside of this filter while it's performing this calibration or just in general, it needs to be replaced. So that means the filter is contaminated and you got to replace it. All right, so now it says ready connect hose to the source, open the valve, and then press OK. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the vehicle we're going to take a look at where to connect our AC hose adapter to. Okay, so the vehicle that we're working on is we're servicing a uh, 2002 Ford Escape. And this is our low side hose right here, our low side adapter for our AC system. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to take this adapter right here and we're going to hook it up to the low side. Pull the collar back. Fit it right over the line, make sure it snaps in place, and give it a little tug, make sure that it doesn't pull off. And then go up here to the cap, and then you're going to tighten this all the way down. So screw it to the right, and this is going to close it. I'm sorry, it opens up the valve. Okay, once we have that connected, next thing we're going to do is go back to our Neutronics, and then see if we can identify the Freon that's in the system. All right, so we've performed all three of those steps. So we're going to go ahead and hit, hit OK. And then we'll give it time to identify. Now what we're looking for is we're looking for a 98% pure. 
If the Freon is 98% pure, then it's good to go ahead and remove. So 98% or higher. So we'll look for 134A and 98% with no other contaminants. Okay, so there you go. We can take a quick look here. It says R134A right up here on the top, and it's at 100%. And then we have R12, R22, HC, UNK, and AIR. And all of those come up as zero. So the AC system is in good shape. So it's at this point. We can go ahead and we can either hook up a manifold gauge set to check the integrity of the system. Or we can hook up an AC machine to recover. If you wanted to, you can go ahead and hit the middle button. And that will give you a printout that's over here on the far left side. That will pop out. But for us, we're not too worried about that. So... From this point, we're just going to go ahead and turn it off because we know everything is okay. All right, next thing we got to do is we got to go back over to the vehicle, disconnect our AC connector that allows the Freon up to the machine, and then unplug it from the back of the machine and put it away, and we're all done. Okay, in order to disconnect, this is pretty simple to do. Just come directly up to it, to your fitting, turn counterclockwise on a blue cap, all the way until it stops completely. Okay. and grab the collar, pull the collar back, and then remove from the AC low side line. Okay, and that's it. So, that's how you measure your Freon inside of the system and inspect it to make sure that it is of uh, the highest quality so you can service it and remove it from your vehicle and it's not contaminated in any way. Alright, thanks for watching.